trying to find Parker. He's got it now. Good. Parker really adept in the post. Sees angles, reads defenses, does both of those very well inside. Well, you can see it and feel it in certain players. I mean, that sense of timing, when to take shots, how to get them off. And Jabari Parker is one of those kinds of guys. I mean, he's got great natural instincts, particularly on the offensive end. He's got a versatile enough game to take advantage of a defender really anywhere on the floor. Nixon's on three of five, shooting the ball so far. And Holiday kicks to Anthony. Back to Holiday. Tipped away. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. Shots good from D. Man, what a pass from Young. Really setting up the floor well for his teammates. Milwaukee on D. They trail by one. The feed now to Anthony. Now, here's O'Quinn, covered by Monroe. Baseline jumper. Here's Persingas. Milwaukee with the rebound. Over to the wing. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Monroe. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Hey, if you're going to foul Monroe, you really got to foul him if you want to prevent him from scoring. If you don't, He'll make you pay for it. And for the Knicks, they're shooting to start out this game about 43%. Jennings with the ball. Now defended by D. Outside, Brzingis. Inside, looking for Anthony and gets it there. Anthony missing again. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And another basket for Milwaukee. Next trail by four. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Here's Jennings. Connects on the 17-footer. Jennings has got his first basket of the night. It doesn't get a whole lot sweeter than watching Jennings pull the trigger from there. I mean, he has this shot on auto dial. Pass to D. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got three rebounds now in this one. Jennings kicks to Holland. Pass to Jennings. There's the pick. Right side, Persingas. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Persingas has got five. Hey, that's exactly what they want Jennings to do out there. He's clever, and he's a guy who knows how to set up his teammates flawless. To the middle. Here's Monroe. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And that one falls for Greg Monroe. And New York making a change here. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, the former Hoya, Greg Monroe, is a bruising big man who really imposes his will in the paint. Jennings against Monroe. Under the Kumbo grabs the miss. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our games. Monroe, there's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. Well, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Outside, on to the Kumbo. Here's D. Good on the three-point shot. Seven points in the game. Seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And, and that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off for them during the run. Bucks leading by three. Outside, on to the Kumbo. This is it to Monroe. He can't get that one, so New York will take it the other way. Anthony dishes to Holiday. Under the Kumbo against Anthony. Just 
Screen by Porzingis. Shot clock at five. Here's the three. And Anthony is good for three. Anthony's got five points so far. And his press. Hustle up. Let's figure this out now. Let's go. Listen up. We've got to make some adjustments on offense out there. Hey, stop improvising out there and make each possession count. I want to run isolation plays until they find a way to stop it. Understood? Here we go. Let's get some buckets now. On possessions, has a great base and wide shoulders to secure position on the box out. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. And a comparison here as we get a look at the last five games of steals and fouls as well as the current season numbers of those stats for Levins. And what that trend over the last five games tells me is that he's gotten a little bit out of control at the defensive end. You, you like to see guys going for steals and trying to make an impact with their D. But when it leads to the foul numbers blowing up, that impact becomes a negative one. Kicks it to Parker. A shot. No good. So New York will take it the other way. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. Milwaukee making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Holiday, the pass to Jennings. Back to Holiday. Now Porzingis, covered by Parker, takes the 13-footer. And the shot no good, a bit short. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one, short stroke. It. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. And Parker stays with it. Now it's a five-point Bucks lead. Yeah, really love the second effort on the glass from Parker. This guy never gives up on the offensive glass. Screen by Porzingis, Jennings with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Such a wide open look. Eight points for Carmelo Anthony. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. It's Young on the wing. He had 25 points last game. Here's D. No good on the three. New York's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Anthony kicks to Holiday. Right side Jennings from 15 feet away. Rebound by Monroe. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 45% from the field early. To the middle. Young with no one around. That was enough space for Young to convert the deep ball. And Young can knock those down if you give him the chance. Now here's Jennings. Tight defense on him. Screen by Porzingis. Jennings kicks to Porzingis. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Porzingis has got nine. Just a major size difference between the defender and shooter on that possession. And Greg, without a hand in his face, he's simply going to spray whoever's there. Parker dishes to Monroe. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. Man, I love how intense Monroe is in the paint. If he has the ball close to the bucket, he's thinking about scoring every time, which is how you should think when you're inside. Here's Jennings. Back to Holiday. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Bucks. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Henson checked in for Milwaukee. 
Mirza Toledovic comes in for Jabari Parker. Here's Henson, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And John Henson has been a player who can start for a team in short spells, but he seems to have found his niche as a threat off the bench in either post position. Very efficient as a scorer and doesn't need a lot of touches to thrive. And, and Kevin, I think that's a big plus with him that he can play either post position quite well. He's 6'11", but has the foot speed to guard both centers and power forwards. And I, I don't think he'll ever be a star, but you know he's a player every coach enjoys having because he uh, gives you winning ingredients and attributes. Here's Hernan Gomez, Vujicic. And Henson pulls it down. And Young kicks to Toledovic. A stupendous finish in traffic. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Holiday, the pass to Hernan Gomez. Ball's not loose. And really, these are some of the toughest calls yeah, an official go. has like to make. That? Yeah, uh -huh. but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Bucks leading by seven. Back to Young. Middleton right side. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's D. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Holiday inside the line. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Tell you what, he's three or four now. Looks like his game's on offensively. Young passes to D. Dishes to Henson. Toledovic in the corner. The pass to D. Fires top of the key. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Not much defense to speak of yet here, guys. Nope. It's been all offense, fellas, all the time here early. And Holiday kicks to Thomas. Feeds to Vujicic. Back to Holiday. There's the pick. The tray. The rebound by Young. Well, they're fortunate. The defense is taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. And the Bucks with some changes. Michael Carter-Williams. Bucks leading by five on the court for the Knicks. Mello and Porzingis, the two stars at the forward spots. Jennings out there with Vujicic. And it's a win and at the pivot spot. Manning the middle. Good job there, Kevin. Getting himself a little space on the inside. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, D in that last outing against the Knicks played really well. He ended with 31 points and was effective from long range as well with a number of threes. He led the charge in what was another win for this team. They are firing on all cylinders. Kevin? Thanks for the great report, David. Guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought was truly incredible. Uh, unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all on the floor. What's well, interesting to me, guys, is to see how much energy he's able to play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. And Young kicks to Onda Takumba. Here's D. From outside, off the mark. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. O'Quinn in the post. Marjanovic on him. O'Quinn can't hit. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And that one's good. Parker. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Last to D. And here is Marjanovic. He's guarded by Jennings. From 15 feet away, it's rebounded by New York. Persingas has got his fourth rebound in this one. Jennings dishes to Carmelo. New York, no good that time either. Bucks leading by nine. Here's Young, and a great assist by Anna Kumbo as that one goes in. Honda Takumbo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight.